Hey, it's Scott from San Marcos Mix. Today we are making haggis, tatis, and neeps. So we're gonna be making this the American version. So many people, haggis scares them, they wanna hold their nose, cause it's made with all these nasty organ meat. I'm not a big fan of the organ meat, um, so probably not the true Scottish way, but I wanna try to make haggis where it's a little more approachable. So think, ground lamb, ground beef, mix it with an oatmeal, very similar to a, a meatloaf you might get in the States, but adding a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, so Christmassy flavors uh, to a meatloaf, uh, but with pinhead, pinhead oatmeal or steel cut oats is what we call it in the United States. Um, so that's what we're gonna be making today. Let's see how we get started. One quick thing before we get started. So haggis, it's traditional in Scotland, January 25th, or in the ballpark of January 25th, there's a holiday that's called Burns Night or Burns Supper. It would be a very fun holiday. Some po it's all about uh, po poetry from Robert Burns. You read some poetry. He has a very famous poem about Ode to Haggis. You read the poem. You have the meal. It's a very fun night. And I promise I'm gonna do a Burns Night as a video closer to the January 25th. Um, when I was doing my research on the haggis, I found this out. Um, would have loved this video to come out in that time, but I wanna get it to you quicker than that. So um, if you did like the haggis, and I will definitely try to be a little more, um, have it more authentic and try to get some organ meat just to try it and maybe even read some of the bones Burns poetry. So definitely wanted to cover Burns night or the Burns supper. So let's start off with the diced onions. I did choose initially to do a large dice. I would definitely drop that down to much more finer dice. I think it'll help you in the long run. Um, I think it'll be a better texture. Um, then we're going to take some ground lamb. This is just some I got from H-E-B, so this is uh, right around one pound, but you're looking for on both meats, so right around a pound a piece. But if you're gonna add in some, let's say some organ meat, if you wanna add some chicken livers, you're roughly for this recipe, you're wanting about a pound and a half to two pounds of meat. So if you wanna take out, say the beef, uh, and add livers or, or hearts or whatever, you want to add that equal amount of about a pound or give or take a pound and a half to two pounds of meat. All right, so we're going to get both of these in there. There's not an easy way to start mixing this up. I definitely recommend... Uh, <laughs> my dog, <daughter. laughs> there's a little cayenne in those spice. <laughs> it's going to hit her in a minute. But here I'm going to use the meat chopper. Uh, <laughs> Uh, to get this all mixed up. I don't think it worked very well in this bucket. The only real way to do this is get your hands dirty. Um, get the egg in there. So one egg to this mixture, very similar to meatloaf. Um, gonna add one cup of pinhead or steel cut oats. And then we're gonna get in the spices. So the spices is gonna be a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, um, a little bit of ground clove, uh, ground nutmeg, um, ground cayenne is the spices that you're going to need. And I'll put exact measurements uh, down below if you would like to make this recipe. But just get your hands dirty. Um, mix it in there. It's much easier. Just do your best to get every little piece. I think another thing that uh, I could have done differently is just uh, done a better job of breaking up the onions because you're going to see that I, have, I had to break up the onions. But you just want to get this nice and mixed up, get all of those parts and all mixed up. Um, you want to try to get that seasoning mixture all the way around into every little bite. It, the, the smell of this at this point smells really good. That nutmeg is very Christmassy. Um, but here I'm just spending a little bit of time getting that mixture all together and separating all those onions. That was kind of a pain. And then you're going to form it into basically a loaf. You're going to put your crock pot on low. Um, 
probably to make it a little easier, spray it out with Pam. It just makes the cleanup a little bit easier. And then you're going to take your formed loaf and um, all depending on the size of your crock pot, but mine kind of, you know, made that little football look. And then we're going to take a half a cup of any kind of stock. Uh, I had beef stocks. So I use that, but chicken would work here. Vegetable stock, any kind of stock would work just fine here. Just a little bit of liquid in there. Now we're going to cook this for five hours, at least five hours in the crock pot. And then if you need want to, at the very end, um, I chose one more hour on high just to kind of try to brown it up because it was just kind of looking a little bleh, gray. Um, I don't know if it helped, but I did throw it in on high for one more hour. You could definitely throw it under the broiler or something like that if you wanted to brown it up. Um, this did make the house smell great. So we were kind of looking forward to it. Here's a nice cross section, uh, sliced just like any meatloaf would do. And it went right there between the yips and tatties, or nips and tatties. Now we're gonna, the cream sauce that I made was just um, flambéing a little bit of whiskey adding a little bit of cream, just a tad bit of mustard. Uh, the wait is over. Let's try this haggis. I've also made some neats and tatties uh, and a whiskey cream sauce. So let's try it. I'm gonna first try it without the cream sauce. Kind of what I thought about. A dry meatloaf is what it tastes like. Now with the cream sauce, better, 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 better. Uh, oatmeal is nuts. Final verdict on the haggis. It's a texture thing. The flavor is pretty good. Very similar to most meatloafs. Probably a little bit on the drier side. I think I could probably tweak a couple things to get it a little perfect, but the weird thing is the texture. The oatmeal is a little different. And the look is a little weird. Um, I think the whiskey cream sauce is absolute must. Gotta have some kind of sauce on top. And I do wanna play with that. I will, and I promise, I will remake this for Burns Day and try to be as authentic as I can get it um, and show you how to make the size to go with it. A true, true Burns Day. So look forward to that sometime in January. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. It's the first of the seven part series of cooking through my DNA. This was Scotland's Haggis. Cheers. Also made the neats. Man, you made me. I was about to say it. <laughs> okay, stop.